You smell that? That's the scent of you driving conversions and saving money with online advertising. Running Facebook ads is one of the best ways to deliver messages to users who are most likely to respond. You just need to know how to use the tools to maximize results. What's up? It's Jamal from HubSpot. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Facebook ads targeting tools to filter through their 2.9 billion users to find the exact target audience you wanna reach. If you're focused on driving leads, raising awareness, or increasing sales for your business, this video is for you. <laughs> really quickly, we have a free checklist that you can download in the description to officially run every step of a Facebook ads campaign, from design and budget to monitoring and analysis. That way, every ad you run on Facebook will perform better than the last. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, something I'm sure that you're familiar with, Facebook is so big that it can be hard to understand how to harness that power for your business. That's why with every step, I'm gonna show you some real world examples so that you can see how the pros use Facebook targeting every single day. And it all starts with demographics. Demographics are attributes shared by a specific portion of the population. They can include things like location, age, and gender. Demographics can also include education level, relationship and family status, and life events like birthdays or anniversaries. If you're in the US, Facebook also lets you target by income level based on a user's zip code. And B2B customers can target users based on their employer, industry, or job title. So I better start seeing some Facebook ads for mid-level cinematographers. If I don't, uh, you guys clearly didn't watch this video and take these tips to heart, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For example, you can already start to see the potential ads that can be targeted to parents of young children, Canadians of legal drinking age, or folks who can afford to eat caviar. I am not one of those folks, unfortunately. These ads would be wasted if seen by the users outside of the specific niche you targeted. Now, it's important to target a niche group so that you don't waste ad spend on an uninterested group, and once you do find your niche audience, you'll be more likely to convert on your ads. Let's go a little bit deeper on how to truly find the best audience to target. Once you lock in your demographics, you can further refine your audience targeting by interests. After all, people can be into different things even if they share the same demographics. Facebook uses millions of data points to determine the exact interests of each individual user, because each and every one of us is a single special snowflake in the blizzard of social media. A good method of finding additional interests is to start typing the main interests in the field and see what the autocomplete function menu shows. A lot of new advertisers ask how many interests you should include in your targeting. There's no set number, but every time you add an interest to your list, it alters the estimated audience size Facebook gives you for your ad. Most experts say you want your estimated audience size to be between 500,000 and 1 million for an ad campaign targeted in the US. This can change dramatically if you're targeting a smaller location or if you have a particularly niche product. At some point, you'll see the audience size stabilize no matter how many relevant interests you add to the targeting. That's probably close to the actual number of potential customers Facebook can offer you. You can also exclude Facebook users who don't wanna see your ads. Like this campaign for Super Coffee, which targeted US adults aged 25 to 55 with an interest in health and fitness, but excluded its current customers and website visitors so that ad dollars aren't spent on users who are already in the sales funnel. How does Facebook know who has bought Super Coffee or visited its website? Because they partnered with the NSA and they're tracking you right now. Just kidding, they didn't do that. It's achieved through targeting methods known as custom audience. Custom audience is a way to target or exclude users based on outside inputs like your email list or specific user activities on or off Facebook. For example, when Super Coffee wanted to exclude existing customers from its ad targeting, it just uploaded its database of customer emails to Facebook. Facebook then made sure not to serve the ads to any users whose profile was linked to any of the emails on the list. To exclude users who already visited Super Coffee's website, first they had to install a Facebook pixel onto their site. A pixel is a tiny piece of code that can be added to any website that lets Facebook know when a user has visited that site by creating a cookie that records that user's behavior. You ever wonder why when you visit, I don't know, Papa John's website at 3 a.m. on a Saturday, and the next thing you know, your Facebook feed is full of Papa John's ads? Well, that's the reason. Now you know. Highly relatable, I'm sure, for everyone. Make sure to click the links below for more info on Pixels. Roll the ad. Our software is the worst. Have you heard of HubSpot? See, most CRMs are a cobbled together mess, but HubSpot is easy to adopt and actually looks gorgeous. I think I love our new CRM. Our software is the best. HubSpot, grow better. Tools like cookie blockers, combined with new regulations that require users to opt in to cookies when going to a website, threaten to limit the effectiveness of tracking pixels in the future. And Google has announced that its Chrome web browser will start blocking all third-party cookies by default by the end of 2023. But Facebook has several other options that don't rely on cookies to match user behavior with ad targeting. 
Some of the most effective are custom audiences based on Facebook's own sources. You can target users who follow your brand's Facebook page or engage with your content by liking or commenting. You can target an ad to users who viewed one of your Facebook videos or showed interest in one of your events. You can even target users who follow or engage with your brand on Instagram, or vice versa if you run ads on IG instead of Facebook. That's a lot of power. Lionsgate Films used these tools to run ticket sale ads for its 2019 film, Angel Has Fallen, by targeting users who engage with the movie's social media content on both Facebook and Instagram. The international film company then went further, targeting users who were like the users who engage with the film on Facebook. This was done using what's called a lookalike audience. You can create a lookalike audience for a specific country or region based on your page followers or existing custom audience. You can also set just how similar your lookalike audience is, with 1% being the most similar, and up to 10%, which is the least similar. Every time the percentage goes up, the potential audiences increase, but the potential for those users to appreciate your ad decreases. Bigger is not always better. Another ad targeting tool you've probably heard about is App Activity, which lets you target users based on their use of other apps on their mobile phone. <laughs> These ad types are especially popular, with app developers who want to re-engage a user who stopped using the app, or to let users know about new features, or new apps from the same developer. App tracking has been in the news lately because the most recent iOS update changes the default for app tracking from on to opt in. And that's caused a fight between Facebook and Apple. They're going like, let us do it. No, we won't. And they're exchanging blows back and forth. I don't know, maybe maybe they'll make up and kiss. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that'd be a news story we'd all wanna see, frankly. But even though it gets all the headlines, only about 15% of Facebook app users are on iOS, while 80% of Facebook mobile phone users connect via Google's Android operating system. And so far, Google hasn't indicated that it plans to follow Apple's lead when it comes to sharing app activity. Facebook has also started using a whole new targeting system that doesn't rely on browser cookies or app tracking. It's called Conversion API, and it connects directly to your website server or e-commerce tools like Shopify. It also allows for more advanced connections between Facebook and CRMs like HubSpot's Marketing Hub. So don't expect those targeted Facebook ads to go away anytime soon. If you wanna learn more about optimizing every aspect of your Facebook ads, you can take HubSpot Academy's free online Facebook ads training course. And because I know you did, don't forget to download that free Facebook ads checklist to follow every time you wanna run a Facebook ad campaign. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any important updates about the ever-changing world of online ads and marketing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go act as a relationship counselor for Tim Cook and Mark Zuckerberg. I wanna see them get along. I think it's possible. And I think I'm going to be the guy that can do it until next time. Ooh, geez. I'm all sweaty, sweaty. Good work, everyone.